have a peer who's constantly telling me, oh my gosh, Sally, how are you always so calm and collected? How are you always so chill and unfazed? It's because I wasn't like that before. I wasn't just naturally born with it. This didn't just happen overnight. I used to be a very anxious person. I used to be someone who was very weak, both physically and mentally. And I used to genuinely feel like the whole world was against me. I used to literally like before bed, I'd fantasize about like not being on this earth anymore. And now literally every time I wake up, the first thing I do, I thank God. I'm like, thank you, I'm alive. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my journey, I guess. It feels really weird to say. I've never talked about this to anyone. And I just want to talk about how I went from this to this, literally how I got to where I am now and put you guys on everything. Honestly, it's just going to be my like pursuit towards real peace, like real peace and happiness and like calmness and all of that. I recommend you go ahead and open your notes app, a notebook, whatever you want to jot down notes on. And then there is a timestamp, but honestly, everything I'm going to talk about in this video goes together. So I just recommend watching the whole thing. But but yeah, let's get into it. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup because I forgot to bring my concealer. Okay, just if I look really tired, I'm not tired. I slept really good, okay? But the first thing is you're gonna have to develop this new mindset, which I'm gonna talk about, but it's so, so, so important. You're gonna have to break out of old habits. This is why I'm talking about this first. You have to come to this realization, this understanding that all comes from you. Like everything, it all starts from you. I don't care where you're living. I don't care who you're living with. I don't care about your ops, your enemies. But for real, like I was able to change my life for the better despite being in like a toxic environment environment and you can too trust me because once you realize that it's your mindset and everything and your actions your habits that all comes from you you can change so much in your life so i'm going to be talking about two different types of mindsets that you're going to have to embody the first one is positivity and the second one is the not caring idgaf type mindset the first one the power of positivity i don't care even if your life sucks so much with this one you just no matter what you always have to look at the good you always have to just view things in the best way possible will give people the benefit of the doubt even if you're sobbing mental breakdown whatever start laughing like literally start smiling like i do this and i literally like i'm like the joker not like that you're kind of like a crazy person when you do that but trust me you're gonna have to do that because the thing is what you feel what you see whatever you think is your reality will actually be your reality but seriously like whatever you feel whatever you think that's literally gonna be a reality so if you want to stay negative stay miserable whatever yeah don't don't even watch this honestly for those who you want to change your life for the better any situation anything literally just laugh about it bro just stop telling yourself you have no enemies you have no ops seriously like your only enemy is yourself let's be so real right now like stop trying to make people look bad stop trying to like is it that the word like evilize them <laughs> like i don't know like you have to get out of this victim mindset and then also i love this like not caring mindset because this is basically just full-on detachment if you're trying to change but you care you cannot change like this is why this is so important like in order to go in order to do anything like to just change from where you are you have to start not caring you're basically detaching yourself from your environment people's opinions how they perceive you whatever none of that matters bro the thing is i used to care so much about how people saw me how people perceived me all my actions everything because i was raised up in an environment where my image really mattered how people saw me whatever all of that stuff with that i never had control over my life i never even realized like wait this is my own life like hello like i can dictate what i want to do and all of that this is so important and so i'm talking about mine and everything but you have to realize that you're in control of your own life okay and this is kind of gonna sound harsh but i mean it in the best way possible you should see that you being in control of your own life and everything is such a benefit like no one is coming to save you and if that sounds really harsh i don't mean it like that even if someone is coming to save you they won't save you in the way that's meant for you like the right way because the thing is we know what's best for ourselves we can get ourselves out of certain situations but if we leave that all on a person it's not going to result in what we want basically and then either you'll blame the other person or whatever but ultimately it's in your control and you have to leave it in your control you need to be the one that literally pulls yourself out of that situation okay, okay. now with all of this transforming whatever your pursuit towards just a better life i guess strength is so 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 important the thing is when you start to move differently anything you start to do differently you're gonna get hate like people are gonna hate on you because imagine let's say we're used to something and let's say that thing changes we're not gonna like that 
and the people around you are not gonna like that either either they're gonna leave you they're gonna hate on you they're gonna criticize you they're gonna just be like the weirdest vibes ever but you have to be so unfazed by that that's why not caring that mindset is so crucial and through this you really need to be strong and like i said people's opinions don't matter you cannot care because if you care about what these people have to say you're trying to go up they're just gonna drag you down with them the new life that you're going into requires this level of strength but don't worry because you're gonna build that through that consistency and discipline mental strength comes first before physical strength because i used to i mean i still go why am i saying i used to i started going to the gym i had people be like why are you going all of this and like they would try to find ways to stop me from going to the gym which is so silly but i'd go anyways in certain environments or whatever sometimes it's really difficult to do things if someone's like not super chill with it or something like that but that's what i'm saying that's why you have to build that foundation with yourself so weird comments or whatever they just won't affect you but staying true to yourself is so 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 crucial before i started this whole journey or whatever i was gonna pursue a major that i absolutely hated i mean i didn't know but i was just trying to please other people i didn't realize that like wait shoot i can go after what i actually want like what brings me joy what makes me like radiate in this different energy but it all starts with realizing like what do you actually like like what do you like like you yes you what do you like not what other people told you that you like like what do you truly like grab a sticky note grab a notebook a paper whatever and write down things that you really love things that bring you joy and who you want to be and this can be as crazy as you want the thing is i feel like a lot of people they don't go to their full potential because of so many limitations that others have set on them and when you realize that you can literally be anything like if you think about all these big ceos or a lot of people who are very successful but their backgrounds are so beyond humbling it's actually insane so don't feel discouraged because right now the fact that you can watch this video means you can watch other videos means you can literally start like elevating your life what i'm saying is be as delusional as you want seriously like i don't even feel like saying delusional is a right word because that's not fair just use your imagination i think delusion is a good thing you're a creative person be delusional bro it's fine i'm still delusional i don't think i'm ever changing that that's because i like to romanticize and just see like the pretty stuff in life i was on facetime with a friend actually and she was like why don't you do that because i was telling her about how much i love art and stuff like that she's like no like why don't you do something like that and i was like wait at the time i had just turned 18 and i was like wait i'm 18 i don't know why i felt like at 18 like i could be myself at least like no one can say anything but i was like wait no i can do my own stuff now or at least i can fully have that control over my life and trust me you need to find this because when you do you radiate in such a different energy and it's like your true purpose like think about that isn't that so beautiful vibes your energy it's just so like beautiful and mesmerizing you can't let anyone dictate anyone tell you what to do you should do this or you should do that i mean obviously always take feedback listen to people's advice i'm not talking about that i'm talking about people who straight up tell you like you know but seriously you need to start having power over your own life and i think at least when i graduated high school i don't know why see i was just not meant to i was not there i thought my life was just gonna end magically especially right when i turned 18 obviously i'm still here thank god and if you're going through something like that or you thought something like that like no now's your time to take control over your own life and it might sound really scary but trust me it's like the best thing you can do for yourself and you will literally be your happiest and you'll find like a will to live but for real you find peace when you find yourself okay but with this change everything is going to change does that even make sense you want to change your whole surroundings everything has to change bro your whole old life you're throwing that away we're done with that okay your food's gonna change what you drink what you listen to what you watch what you consume how you exercise your routine like your sleep routine your morning routine your everyday routine everything is going to change the people around you are going to change who you talk to are going to change how you talk to yourself is going to change your mindset like literally everything and this low-key ties in with letting go because you're letting go of your old life and allowing for this new beautiful and even better energy your new life to unfold i feel like some people are really scared to let go view letting go as like such a good and positive thing only better is gonna come out of it you know what i mean i made a video about this i changed my music i used to listen to mitsuki whatever romanticized sad girl and it really did help me the media you consume it really affects you because it obviously is going to take time but you will get better and things will get better trust me because you're going to start implementing these habits that will just change your life for the better but also during this process of growth you have to be so 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 gentle with yourself i used to get so upset with myself i used to get so angry whatever when i'd either fall back into old habits or I'd let things trigger me and like i have a mental breakdown whatever and i'd get so upset over that the thing is that's not fair for you because imagine Let's say like 18 years or whatever years you're like doing something and then all of a sudden you change that it's so normal if you like slip or certain things still affect yourself like that like stuff just doesn't happen overnight if anyone tells you oh yeah you can change your life in like a day 
no bro it's gonna take some time like think about it because you first have to, to mentally be like okay i'm gonna change and start like cleaning your room slowly then other stuff and implementing better habits but like now i'm genuinely so calm and collected like not only can nothing phase me but when i look at old photos of myself i feel so alienated from them like i'm like bro there's no way that was me it's so weird i would say in like literally a couple of weeks and months like i started hella going because i was so serious about it but guys i'm saying like you don't have an excuse like do it trust trust bro the positive mindset it's literally a part of me it's like in my veins anytime someone makes a comment anything like i only see it as good and i always see the positive in everything because if you think about it everything is meant for us like everything is meant to happen like god has a plan for us let's say something didn't happen or something did happen like everything is gonna work out at the end of the day and that's why like mindset matters so much because i'm telling myself oh it's all gonna work out and then it does like i was putting my friend on this arabic song and then she was like oh my gosh i thought you were colombia and i immediately i was like bro that's so far like Kali Uchis, you know? Obviously, I'm not. I'm Meraki. I was telling my friend that because I was like, no one guesses where I'm from. And I used that example. And I told her about the Kali Uchis part. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's so funny how you changed it like that. How you shifted it like that. Okay, think of this. Like, this is my head. This, these are words. It's just like positivity. I don't know. Okay, so now I want to go more into specifics. I feel like I'm being so broad and so general about everything. Literally, the first thing I did was mindset. At that time, I was heavy on TikTok. So all my TikTok videos were just motivational videos, like these quotes, like people screaming at me, like saying, do better. We're all about gentleness here. It was just like crazy videos like that and like affirmations and all these like uplifting content, even though I was feeling like ass guys, okay? It was all with the mindset first. I would go to bed listening to these 10 hour long youtube videos of affirmations for like calmness whatever and this was when i was super anxious happened first because my room was completely a mess i was physically i've mentioned this before but your room reflects your mind so i completely changed my room this took a while i think this took me a week so my room was super messy so i first organized my clothes i moved everything i redid my desk and i was like okay i'm gonna repaint my wall i recommend you repaint your wall you try not to have a dark color it's not the best for your mind now it's white i don't know if i 100 percent suggest white because white can make you go crazy if your room is really empty I did white because that was like my canvas and obviously you guys know I have my wall painted the murals and I have posters I'm very big on like decorating my room change up your posters if you don't have posters do posters if your parents don't let you literally talk to them I'll use tape or something like I think it's really nice to have your room decorated but anyways after that okay I need to actually start eating really good meals like more meals you know I need to get my weight up and stuff like that and then eventually I actually signed up to the gym and I signed up to the gym straight away I first started go for walks around the block then to the park and stuff like that then I signed up for the gym honestly when i signed up for the gym that kind of like tied everything because when you go to the gym if you want actual results you have to eat i was like okay now i need to actually eat take care of my body like that then got a job i'm pretty sure i started working out the same week i started training trainer i mentioned this in my one piece video she had a one piece tattoo of, and i told her like yo like i have to watch one piece because my friend put me on but i never watched and literally my life for like i don't know like four months or something the videos work gym and watching one piece after work that was it like that was my life and that helped me so much much because it built my foundation during the time when i was really focusing on my mind what i would do when i'd wake up even though everything around me was a disaster see the thing is when your mind is clear and it's not a disaster nothing around you is gonna be but if your mind is so like crazy here everything's gonna be crazy if you're in a beautiful tropical island but you're not okay here the island isn't gonna be okay that's why like the mind is so important i recommend this everything i'm saying i low-key recommend at least try it if it doesn't work for you then i'm sorry it doesn't work for you but i just recommend trying i'd wake up and i'd say what i'm grateful for before my feet touch the ground the therapist basically said when you put your foot down your brain automatically knows okay shoot my day has started but when you're still in bed and you get up your day hasn't officially started not until you put your feet down you're like okay let me go brush my teeth let me wash up instead of like mindlessly scrolling or going on whatever the first thing i would do obviously what i'm grateful for but i would go and put on a meditation literally any meditation guys it doesn't matter this random girl it's like a gratitude meditation for the morning only it was like five minutes long guys when i was so anxious i meditated like crazy like seriously just try meditation I don't do that anymore because now i just know breathing techniques and also when i pray i kind of use that as meditating time but also this is another side note i feel like i'm just getting into like specifics at least what has worked for me obviously you guys know i go to the gym i made a video about it but the thing is i genuinely love the gym so much because if you have any toxic behaviors or anything that's like unhealthy or whatever go to the gym so you can kind of do this okay let me explain basically when i work out i like completely destroy my body i push myself like crazy but it's not unhealthy but i get to have an environment where first of all no one's bugging me second of all i have like the worst rbf ever i can just be so like 
that's my time to be angry but if i am ever upset or i'm not feeling it i love going to the gym because it just releases all of that just because i push myself and i think that's really nice to do i never would push myself at least like back then but growing up two siblings who they were very passionate about their certain extracurriculars and what they do and i'd ask them like why like why does that matter i never had that push i mean obviously no one pushed me for anything when i started to learn like wait i want to actually do stuff for myself i really enjoyed going to the gym because i've been able to push myself like should i flick wait you guys i'm like freezing dude that's mad funny you can tell i'm kind of red i think if you're someone who you don't push yourself try going to the gym or try anything like maybe rock climbing i don't know something that you can push yourself because it kind of gives you like a reward system why do we love video games so much why are they so addicting because you get rewards you go through levels and stuff like that ecology bro come on guys i'm finna change my major okay now i want to talk about cons literally why does no one talk about this there is a more not downside okay shout out to my birds oh they're so cute that's why i wanted to film outside because i'm like okay birds like start tripping you know? one thing is i'm low-key like you know how i say like nothing can phase me that i don't have enemies whatever it's because i'm my biggest enemy i'm low-key my biggest hater ever which i don't like to say out loud because every time i'm hating on myself i'm like no like sally be gentle to yourself whatever but i literally can't help it I try to be so gentle with myself and love myself whatever but i also want myself to be so much better if you're just thinking i only need to get better when is it enough when will you ever be satisfied and i mean obviously now i recognize what i need to take a break i recognize when i'm being just a bit too intense and i also try to celebrate myself more maybe i don't do that enough i'm thinking about it i should probably start doing that a bit more but it's very important to have this self-awareness when you're going through this process when you're going through this journey i'm re-watching east blue right now i feel like it's kind of like zoro situations like when is it enough it's so heavy that he bears on his shoulders stuff like that and like, talks about how heavy his swords are but also this is just a truth i mean i'm with my homies right now do you guys want to see i'm with my favorite people ever but this path is a very lonely path i would say i don't even want to call it lonely it's more like i'm just always alone I'm, i don't want to say lonely though because i freaking love it before i even started this i was very lonely i did have people but i was so lonely but now i'm alone and there's a difference between being alone and being lonely you have to learn to love solitude solitude is gonna have to be your bff because when you're changing when you're growing it's natural for people to leave you because they're so used to the old version of you or you're outgrowing the environment you're in it's genuinely inevitable you're gonna outgrow your surroundings and don't be super upset about that but the thing is i don't think you will because when you change and stuff like that also like i joke about this a lot but i just feel like i'm a grandma like right now there are flowers over there i just want to sit and stare at them see when you practice meditation you learn what mindfulness is and it's being so present just here right now this is what peace is the breeze oh my god that's what i'm talking about i always talk about the cold breeze like when in my face and just being so grounded here right now i just wish everyone feels like this you want me well to feel like this so don't feel discouraged to the park low-key if you can watch this at the park or watch this outside your front porch or open your window and watch this yeah you should do that trust and also another con is you're doing something different so it's very scary okay it's very scary at first oh my god it is so uncomfortable i've mentioned this before comfortability kills dreams so you're gonna be uncomfortable but that's good that's a good sign okay that's me you can come back to this in like a year or maybe not even a year looking in a month or something like come back to this video in a month a couple months six months next year you're gonna think your future self trust me it'll be so worth it like you need to have faith in yourself okay like you need to start building up that consistency that discipline your future needs you come on you got that dog in you so you can do it and you'll become like such a strong person and obviously it's not going to be easy who said it was going to be easy if because you're doing something that's different you're doing something that no one around you is doing you don't have that support you don't have that whatever it's not going to be fun at first actually it's going to be the hardest the thing is think of it like this there's a path like there's a literal path right going this way you're not trying to go that way but there's no other path you're going to have to carve your own path do you think that's easy carving your own path and walking through that you no it's not going to be easy and there are no shortcuts in life if someone tells you otherwise i think this is a flower petal <sighs> if someone tells you otherwise you're trolling for real literally no pain no gain that's why i love stoicism if you guys don't know what that is i swear i've talked about this in a video before you're going through these difficulties these challenges but you're not complaining about it and you keep going and it's so beautiful because i thank god like without these difficulties think about it if you didn't go through so much like shit right you can't appreciate how beautiful life is like right now just sitting here right now this is so beautiful for me also the clouds are so pretty but it's because i've been through situations that have not been the best so i get to 
appreciate the best you know i'm talking about like looking at everything through positivity i feel like positivity kind of goes with like beauty so look at everything like that like everything is so beautiful like okay so this is a complete side note i totally forgot to talk about this but like i was talking about this path being like more lonely you're gonna be on your own you have to learn to shine without the desire to be seen before i used to just post so much and i used to do like whatever the heck i do now i don't like to post i don't want to i don't feel that need but what i did do which i recommend you do this but i have my own instagram account when i mean my own it's like there's zero followers it's like my trap account like post so much and when i was really down and i was like improving my mind or whatever i would do like daily vlogs and reflection i'd be like oh today i actually like you know i brushed my teeth i had whatever the heck i ate kind of cleaned my room i did my makeup only reason i made this video was because i was looking back at that account and i was looking at my highlights i don't know how i improved like that good place to trauma dump to yourself because i was just reading some stuff and i was like but I still have that account. I literally posted yesterday. I do recommend having your own account and posting your progress if you want. And I just have so many private stories. So that's why I like that stuff. But if you're not into that stuff, have your own journal, have your own like sketchbook maybe where you can talk about your progress. I think it's really nice to write down everything to take pictures throughout this whole journey. Because when you reflect, even if you reflect in like a month, six months, in a year it's gonna be insane and you're gonna really thank yourself for yeah. that. i hope you guys enjoyed this video but i really do hope this helped you guys out at least because i really 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 want you guys to pursue your dreams to go after what you want i forced myself to get better and i did and you can too trust me and you're probably like a hundred times more capable than whatever the heck i was doing trust me it is so worth it i just really hope this inspired you guys to start going after your dreams and start living for you okay be sure to like comment subscribe and please feel free to leave down any comments i know i forgot stuff so please if you need any clear Clarification, just let me know but yeah i hope you have a beautiful day and a beautiful rest of april because it's looking coming to an end be nicer to yourself you got this it's all a journey it's all a process and with time everything will heal so don't worry about it okay i love you guys bye okay i'm on my way back there's honestly so much i want to say on my way back what am i talking about i'm on my way to my car but one thing is i'm like that really boring friend okay what the heck i don't even have friends but i'm a very boring person now but i literally love it because i remember someone asked me they were like oh what do you like to do i was like um i like to draw i like to go to the gym i like to take walks but like bro it's so chill because i've mentioned this before bro the piece i have now is so nice it's just funny to think about like how much i've changed do you guys like this is your sign seriously and then there's no need to wait start now maybe you're like in class maybe it's your work break i don't know it's fine like it's totally chill but do it and i'm here supporting you i'm here rooting for you if you don't have anyone else supporting you know you have me okay and honestly you have yourself and that's the most important thing ever mm -hmm.